Food production and systems and uh, processes should allow access. It shouldn't be prohibitive. PGS in full is participatory guarantee systems. These are locally adaptable systems where producers, consumers, and various stakeholders are able to set up uh, procedures to be followed that can guarantee the production and um, traceability of products within a given geographical region to facilitate trade. When I talk of PGS, I mean the people involved to agree on the procedures, what they are going to follow. So since these are various local communities within their local context, then they can have established um, procedures to follow and then it can be replicated and so in that way, it can help to scale up agroecology. When you look at the principles of organic agriculture and the principles of agroecology, which are seven principles, there is a bit of participation, there is a bit of diversity, promoting um, local seed, looking at inclusion of gender and all those things. That is about fairness, it's about health. It's about ecology, uh, which is also reflected in the four principles of organic agriculture. So the only difference, in my opinion, because I've, I've, I've studied agroecology, is that agroecology allows us to use some bit of chemicals in a situation where no other alternatives are allowed. So to me, the fight is not necessary.